Hello and welcome! Yesterday, both the European currency and the British pound continued to advance against the US dollar. The lack of important statistics from the euro area and Britain contributed to higher demand for risky assets, while data on the US economic growth disappointed investors. First quarter GDP declined at 1.5% annual pace, worse than the 1.3% estimate. This report has put additional downward pressure on the greenback and the US Federal Reserve. In this situation, the regulator will have to cope with surging inflation and the country's economic contribution at once. All these is waning on the dollar, which has been losing value against some risky assets since mid-May. Today's macroeconomic calendar includes data on the M3 measure of money supply and loans to the private sector in the euro area. However, these reports are unlikely to have an impact on market sentiment. In the second half of the day, FOMC member James Bullard is set to speak. Traders may also take notice of personal spending and income in the United States, as well as the U.S. Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Index. Besides, the University of Michigan will report data on consumer sentiment and inflation expectations. But these releases will not be of particular interest to traders. If statistics on U.S. personal spending and income turn out to be downbeat, the greenback will most likely suffer further losses, thus allowing the euro and the pound sterling to extend gains. From a technical point of view, the euro-dollar pair hit a new weekly high in the Asian session. Now bulls are aiming for the level of 1.0779 and 1.0811 if the price breaks through and consolidates about this range as well as tested from the top down I recommend opening additional long positions with a view to reaching the marks of 1.0811 and 1.0844. In the event of a false breakout at 1.0771, it will be a wise decision to go short. Following a price advance above the previous high at the end of the trading week, bears will probably become more active and bulls will close their positions. In this case, the euro will slide to 1.0734. A false breakout at this level will create a buy signal. If the price fixes below 1.0734 and tested from the bottom up, the European currency will come under strong pressure and drop to 1.0691 and then 1.06. 45. So please be careful with purchases at the end of the week. Long positions at 1.0691 can be considered amid a false breakout. At the level of 1.0645 it will be possible to open long positions on a rebound. Speaking of the British pound, the situation is similar. The pound-dollar pair edged higher and settled above the my high. If the price breaks through and consolidates above 1.2665 as well as tested from the top down and the volume of long positions will increase and the pound sterling will advance to 1.2706 and then 1.2765. At the level of 1.2765, it will be possible to go short on the rebound, counting on the intraday correction of 30-35 pips. Short positions at 1.2665 and 1.2706 can be considered only amid a false breakout. If the price fixes below 1.2670 and tested from the bottom up, the British pound will most likely return to 1.2569 and 
and 1.2525 and the lower boundary of the channel at 1.2481. At the marks of 1.2525 and 1.2481, traders will be able to go long on the rebound with a view to catching an intraday correction of 25, 30 pips. Long positions at 1.25 69 will be relevant only in the event of a false breakout. Good luck!